good afternoon yeah it's definitely not morning it's like one o'clock um i'm getting ready for the day um we're gonna go watch the georgia game with some friends and while the baby is sleeping hey desiree you're always the first person um so while the baby is sleeping and not screaming at me for something I figured I'd get on and do my first live video since having a little girl. So real quick, I'm just going to clean my brush because it's kind of gross. And I'm actually not even going to use this one, but I'm going to show you guys how to clean your brushes. Because a few people have gotten um, the brush cleaner. So I want to make sure you guys know how it works. So this is what it is. And I'm just going to take this. And I personally... I guess they are, dude. But it works out pretty well. I just got your text, too, and I meant to text you back before I started this, but uh, I didn't get a chance. So, I sprayed that on here, and it's already looking way better. Um, but I have a paper towel, and I literally just rub it on my paper towel like this until it's pretty much clean. Um... Yeah, we already are going over to Philip and Tanya's to watch the game today, but also, <sighs> we need to come and watch the game with you guys one of these days. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side. And then, so here's the before. I'm so excited for you to get it. And so there's the after. It's nice and white again. It kind of looks a little bit lighter than it is because of the light, but hey, Danny. Okay. So there's the after. Nice and clean. And they're dry. So if I wanted to use this, um, I could. Um, but I'm probably not going to use this one. I have another one that I like a little bit better. So... I'm not going to clean that one because I don't want to bore you guys to death. So I don't put lotion on my face before I use this makeup just because it's cream makeup and I feel like that makes it kind of slip around a little bit more. Um, and I don't really have, hey Beth, um, I don't really have dry skin. So all I did was like take a washcloth and like wipe my face off. So I'm going to use this color right here to cover up redness that I've got, which is pretty bad, right here on my cheeks and on my nose. So I kind of start in the center of my face and just pat. I'm not like wiping it because I feel like that, um, it just, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't go on as well if you like swipe it across your face. So I just pat it in. And I just start in the center of my face and kind of fan it out. Hey, Kyra. So, um, what are you guys all doing today? Anybody have any plans? Desiree, I know you're watching the game. But what is everybody doing? I pretty much sit in my house all day, every day currently with my little girl and so I get pretty excited when the weekend comes and we get to go see some family members see some friends and it just kind of gets me out of the house it gets kind of boring looking at the same thing all the time I literally just sit and uh, watch Netflix and occasionally do a little bit of homework because I am still in school but okay. 
Ooh, I keep hitting my table. Sorry, y'all. Desiree, you're always cleaning your house. And I more respect to you because you clean a lot more often than I do. I made some cookies last night um, that I'm taking to Philip and Tanya's house today. And they're actually, they're no-bake cookies and they're the lactation cookies. The toddler destroys your house, I feel you. Okay, so now I did that one color, this one right here, all over. I'm going to grab this color, which doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't really look lighter, but I promise it is. This color is lighter. Um, I'm going to put this up here on my forehead because I don't really have redness on my forehead. So I just kind of put that one color down. You're a last minute kind of person. Yeah, I feel you. Um, we kind of had everybody on standby trying to wait and figure out what that rash that Anna had was because um, we didn't know if we really wanted to take her out of the house um, with it but even though I overslept for my pediatrician appointment this morning yesterday morning my days are running together y'all um, I'm pretty sure it's just some baby acne it just looked so bad and I feel like I had my first like crazy mom moment where I was like oh my gosh my kids like got some kind of disease or something pretty just just bad baby acne whatever it's fine hey Sarah and oh Kyra you're so sweet I can't read that whole thing but I'm gonna go back and read it Hey, Kristen. I miss you guys. I think we're planning on um, coming to church on Sunday. Um, or to the fall festival. I'm not sure. Drew said he wanted to go. This one, Desiree, is the detail hack brush. Um, so it kind of helps get a more precise um lines whenever you contour but for some reason I like it to do my highlight and my contour um it's my jam right now yeah so I just make a line with like the edge of this brush right there right under my cheekbone and then I just kind of blend it And Desiree, the reason I told you to get the 30 second hack, which is this one, um, instead of this one, is because you kind of need another brush to do blush with if you use just this one on your face. Um, so I didn't want you to need to buy another brush. Hey, Stephanie. How's your sweet baby doing? He's... He's five weeks old today, right? Saturday. Yeah. I pulled my hair back and then I'm still like holding it up. So I kind of quarantined myself to the corner of my living room, or of my kitchen. I, I changed from sitting in the living room because this way, if my husband decides to get up and uh, walk through here half naked, like he's done before while I was on here, y'all won't see him. <laughs> so that's why we had a little bit of a change of scenery and I have to go run a few errands before we go um, over to our friend's house to watch the game so I'm just kind of quickly throwing this on
Um, I feel like so awkward right now, to be honest. But I appreciate the confidence boost because you're awesome like that. Um, this is only my second time doing a live video, and so it's still really weird for me. It's um, it's very nerve wracking. Okay, so this is the B squared brush. It's the bronzer and blush. Well, I think it's bronzer and blush. I'm not sure which end is supposed to be which, but I use this end for my blush and then I blend it with the side. So I'm gonna take this nude color right here, which is my go-to, um, and I literally, let me flip this back up here. I'm gonna dip this in here one time. And I think I just stuck my fingernail in that. I don't think I actually got it in there very well. Okay, so that's what it looks like. There we go. And it is super pigmented. The first time I ever put this blush on, I legit looked like a clown. So. The good thing is, is you can blend it out really easily, but... I'm not a super huge blush person because I already have such red cheeks. So. And I'm taking this. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys my contour color. I use olive. It's a little bit darker. It's this one right here. I have been playing around with all of my colors I think I've changed my colors so many times it's just so fun so I have this uh, nice little double chin thing going on it's like it's hereditary it's um it's a family thing my mother blessed me with that gene I was so appreciative of it so I contour down here and I'm gonna use this tiny part just to go down the bridge of my nose and clean that up a little bit. And I'm gonna take Moonlit, which is our lightest highlight color, and I just like to put it under my eyes just to kind of lighten them up a little bit. Like, that's the difference between that just tiny little, tiny little difference. tiny amount of product but a big difference is what I was trying to say so the colors I'm using um, I'm using aura for all over because I have a lot of redness to cover it up uh, white peach is what I use to kind of make it match my skin tone because I'm pale as I'll get out and then moonlit right under my eyes right here to brighten that up and down the bridge on my nose um, Olive is my contour, and Nude is the blush that I used, and then the illuminator that I'm going to use is Pearl. So I just want to make sure that this is all kind of blended. And my forehead doesn't look huge, so contour that a little bit more, and then blend it in. I will text you back, Kristen, as soon as I get done on here, girl. Okay. So that's pretty much my face. Now I'm going to take, this is already wet, so this is the Perfector sponge. You can use any beauty blender, any, um, I used the Real Technique sponge before I got this one. Um, so I'm just going to take this and spray it with my stay spray because I don't like to spray my face after I get done so just do it like three times um 
press it in everywhere. It's going to pick up any extra product if you have too much makeup on your face right now. Um, so that it doesn't look cakey at all. And then I just kind of let it dry. Um, I'm going to do my brows real quick. The only brush that I don't have is our, uh, I think it's called Know Your Angles brush. It's the brow brush. And so I use just a spoolie like this to comb them out. And then I use, if I'm filling my brows in with mascara products, I use this brush. It's just a little multitasker brush and an eyeshadow. Um, or sometimes I use this pencil I have no idea where it's from. It's a Remy London eyebrow brush, but I literally just like shade them in. I'm not huge on my brows. Um, I don't really need to fill them in. I just kind of darken them up because they're so light. And then I brush them out again and just kind of soften that up so it doesn't look like I literally just like drew my brows in. Hey Tori. See that sweet little baby popping up in the top corner of my thing. Alrighty. So I, oh Lord, this hair. I'm going to set with powder. So I'm gonna use our powder powder brush. But if you, you can use any brush. I've also used this like really big fluffy part of this brush. Um, you can use almost anything. But I'm going to use this and I'm going to put it in our press powder, the vanilla dust. And I just set where I get oily. So literally where you see me all shiny here on the middle of my forehead. Sit there. Down my nose under my eyes around my nose and on my chin what's up Dora My hair it looks like a hot mess I probably should have done it before I did my makeup so I didn't look like such a crazy person on here with my crazy little headband and whatnot it's fine totally fine so now I'm just gonna use the eyeshadow everything the fluffy side of it and I'm gonna take it in this color right here I'm gonna put it right under my brow bone, both sides, and in the inner corner. I'm gonna pause and take a coffee break too. And then I'm just gonna take this color right here, I think. And I'll just put this right in my crease. Hey, Leah. How are you guys doing? 
I'm just on here doing my makeup like a crazy person. I don't know if you guys can hear my TV in the background. Um, I was pumping right before I started getting ready. And, oh my goodness, I keep like, kicking my table. Sorry. Um, I was watching Fixer Upper and now Property Brothers is on. And so, if y'all can hear that, I forgot to turn it off. My bad. So, I am not like a makeup guru or makeup pro. Um, I just kind of, as far as, especially with eyeshadow, I just kind of put it on and go with it. Lauren, Lauren. How are you enjoying uh, Blue Ridge? Your new home sweet home. I tried to convince Drew to move back to Blue Ridge and he said no. So, doesn't look like we're going to be joining you guys anytime soon, unfortunately. I do think we're coming to see you guys though next month um, when Anna does Santa pictures. We're going to come get some done. Hey, Anna Marie. I'm glad I'm the only person that's allowed to call you Anna, just Anna, and uh, not Anna Murray. Hey Amber. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, do we, uh, no, I think she just told us to come for like the 8 o'clock spot. We're supposed to spend the night with you guys, I think. This is the color right here that I'm putting on the outside. Right here. And just kind of blending in. It's like a sparkly brown. Um, yeah, but Anna, I'm pretty sure you told us, I think it was like the 8th. December 8th. That could be wrong. Um, but something like that. You let me know if I'm wrong and I need to book another spot. Because I will. So I'm just going to put a bright color right here just to really lighten up my eyeballs. Make me look like I'm awake and alive. And here. Cool. And I'm just kind of blending that out. So there's not like super harsh lines. I'm gonna flip it over to this side and go in with this dark sparkly color that I kind of love. And this is gonna be like a liner down there. So, if you guys are interested in this uh, makeup, all the cream stuff that I put on my face before, all of this, you can comment and let me know. And I will message you or you can message me if you want to know a little bit more about it. And I'll get you hooked up. I'm going to do my mascara real quick. And try not to look like a crazy person while I do it. Okay. All right, I love you guys. So I'm not one of those people who's like crazy obsessive about my lashes so I just like throw on some mascara and go. 
The fact that I actually curl them most of the time is kind of a big deal for me too. Because I just don't take. Thank you. She's good. Her and Drew are snuggling right now in the bed. Um, honestly, I'm kind of surprised that she's not like wailing. She's usually up and going crazy this time of day, but I got lucky. And this is my life, y'all. This is my life. Um, I can't really do any live videos during the week because I feel like it would be my luck that she would go to sleep and then as soon as I started or I got like halfway through, she would start pitching a fit and then y'all would be watching me comfort the baby instead of doing anything productive. So, I'm just gonna get this off real quick. Like I said, y'all, I am not a pro. I just got mascara on my nose. I haven't done that in a long time, but it is what it is. So, I'm gonna fix that since I just messed that up a little bit. This nice little zit right here. Luckily, this is pretty much covered by my glasses. I get lucky whenever I get them right here because I wear glasses and so you can't really see them. But, you know, it is what it is. These um, postpartum hormones are kicking my butt. Um, I've never really had like acne problems and if you go back to the beginning of the video, I have like a whole cluster right here but luckily my makeup covered them pretty well I've got a couple of spots over here it drives me nuts but yeah so that's my makeup look um, I used everything aside from mascara and um, this eyebrow pencil all of my makeup was in this little compact right here and I used I used all four of these, oh, excuse me, all five of these, but um, the cool thing about this makeup is you could use one brush with your face. Um, I guess I should probably do a video of that, um, just kind of showing you guys how you can use one brush for your whole entire face, aside from your eyes, of course, but um, I only used one brush for my eyes, so... Yeah, if you guys are interested in that, just shoot me a message or comment on here and let me know and I'll get in touch with you guys. But thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.